Oh my God. <laughs> She's getting real tonight. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> this is, hi guys. Uh, oh dear. Okay. So yeah, this is what I look like in the morning. <laughs> uh, I just woke up a little bit ago. I'll take off my glasses today because I actually pulled out the lights and everything. So I still have my coffee. Uh, I slept for almost 12 hours last night. My sleep got messed up the night before, so I don't know if that had something to do with it, but this time of year, I got to be really careful because I'm always, not always getting sick, but I definitely, it's easy to get run down for certain. My good Trader Joe's coffee. So yeah, so I allowed myself to sleep, which was lovely. So today I thought we could just sit Let's have a morning meditation with one another. Um, in the future, today, I, I, I apologize for these uh, first few uh, vlogs. That first one, um, I gathered that footage while I was home with my family, and it took days. It took days to go through that and to get it put together with the music and everything. It still wasn't perfect. There were still little parts that were a little crazy, but um, yesterday's was really casual, and then... Um, Today is going to be really casual as well. But in the future, I'd like to start experimenting with, um, you know, maybe doing meditations where I do a voiceover with it. Today, I'm just going to talk to the camera. Uh, I hope to go out later because today it's supposed to be, I think, hold on, I got to grab a tissue. Okay. So uh, today is supposed to be a little bit nicer than it has been. I think we're supposed to get into like the mid 50s with the temperature. So I think what I might do is just take my, my, uh, my camera, take my, <laughs> my phone camera and that little setup I have there over to the Garden of the Gods. I am aching for a hike, but the trails are still going to be pretty muddy and icy. And I don't have, I don't have like winter hiking gear per se. That's something I would really, you know, maybe I should join a hiking group. I've always been intimidated to do that because I didn't want them, like I knew they were going to be... <laughs> you know, a lot, like a lot better at it than me. And I'm more of a slow hiker who keeps to moderate trails because when I hike, it's to get exercise, fresh air, to connect with nature and to meditate. So I do a walking meditation. So people who are out there with something to prove and they're, you know, whatever, <laughs> I may not be able to keep up with them, but it would be nice to have some like technical hiking, especially, especially winter hiking tips and this is the gear you need and all that kind of stuff but anyway um back to i'm all over the place so i literally just woke up a little bit ago um so yeah so i'm gonna try garden of the gods uh if that's super crazy i'll try another trail and we'll just do what we can i would go over to bear creek usually uh during this kind of you know like after a snowstorm because it's stone but so many creepy things have happened over there it's a creepy energy in that in that sector and it's so sad because the nature is so gorgeous but uh so many things i won't get into it here but things have happened over there so there's that um my nephew dakota and his friend drove from ohio to colorado they just arrived this morning and instead of resting i haven't gotten a chance to speak with him we've just been texting uh, <laughs> they drove up pike's peak i was like Okay, now if you guys have seen Pikes Peak, or you can even just uh, Google it, it's a very famous road. It's where they do their race to the clouds and all that stuff, which is super interesting. I missed it this year, but it's always super interesting. But um, it's dangerous. <laughs> it's like a very dangerous road. Pikes Peak, I feel Independence Pass is dangerous, and I feel like Monarch Pass. I've never been on it, but I've heard people say that that's kind of a dangerous pass. If you're from the area and that's not correct, will you let me know down below? Cause I'm curious, I wanna explore more, but I'm also, that stuff does not entertain me. Having to white knuckle, whether it's in traffic or on a big mountain road, none of it's interesting. I, I like that drive that you take to Santa Fe where it's just like open road. <laughs> I'm a Route 66 kind of gal, like I love that stuff. But having to do hairpin turns and sheer drop-offs, not interested. But anyway, Dakota went up to Pikes Peak. That's where he is right now. And he just texted me and said they couldn't go all the way to the top because there are, I, I, I texted him back. I'm like, was that a typo? But he said 17 foot snow drifts at the top of Pikes Peak. Dakota, honey, you should not have driven across the country and then gone up to Pikes Peak, but I'll see you later. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just, I wanted to get this done. 
I'm gonna go do that hike, hopefully get some footage so we can, even if I don't post it today, maybe this is today's vlog, um, well, I'll post it another day, you know, for Vlogmas. Um, we'll do that, but I have got to get this apartment. I did not get it clean yesterday. I did not manage. <laughs> it just didn't happen. I was too tired. I was just too tired. And it's funny because you could tell what my lifestyle is. Sorry, I'm still in that crunchy chair. It's a mobile chair, so I was able to bring it over here. But um, never got my Christmas tree up. <laughs> uh, I'm still unpacking from my trip that I went to just a couple of weeks ago. So stuff is still out there. Um, my makeup is out, not because of today. Hi, this is really what my face looks like, okay? Um, <laughs> my makeup is out from having filmed a couple days ago. What else is happening? Oh, my Christmas stuff is out everywhere. I had to tear out a closet to get my Christmas. It is not ready for people to see. That's why I'm sitting in the corner, <laughs> crunched up in the corner. Oh, here, let's see. Not that this is gonna help anything here, but oh, no, no, no. Sorry, guys. This is my face. There we are. I don't even know what to tell you. Um, and that's the update for today. Cool. All right, so let's do this. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Michelle Patterson. I just hit something. Um, <laughs> my channel here is Angel Souls. It's a spiritual channel and uh, I work with angels. So uh, before we get into this meditation where we connect with angels, uh, this week's weekly that I put up, I said to everybody, watch the comments, watch the comments because um, people are gonna come through with their conditioning and they're basically, basically going to diminish people who feel, right? So there are human beings out there so this is a little extension of this week's uh, reading. There are people out there who they just aren't that sensitive and they think people who are sensitive are weak, ridiculous, whiny, you know, whatever. And they tend to have this sort of like get over it attitude about things. I batch film some weeklies and I can tell you the messages get really crazy and they get intense. Wait for January. <laughs> Wait for January. Um, it's it's going to get nuttier, okay? It's already going to start happening here in December, but it's really going to kick off in January. Not that time is linear. It's just that's how we would understand and interpret that uh, that flow, right? So I want you guys, if you care to, really be paying attention to those comments and see if you can start spotting people who, you know, they... Society has basically told them that they're healthy-minded individuals because nothing ever gets to them. Now, I'm not saying, oh, if you're, you know, if everything hurts times 20, that we shouldn't try to balance ourselves out. I mean, sure. But when someone's being diminishing, all right, I just had somebody leave a comment saying, you let the narcissist gaslight you too much. Uh, lady, you're saying that to someone who's been abused by narcissists her entire life. And how dare you come forward and say, I'm letting them. I'm let. I could go on and on with that. I can go on and on with that. But I'm bringing it up here because that is the exact kind of conditioned, um, somewhat, I feel it was heartless. But that's because of my perspective and where I'm coming from. Some of you might be watching this going, what is the big deal? That person didn't say much of anything. This is a problem, guys. This is a problem. And this is why we humans, we got to get better at how we communicate with one another and uh, being there for one another. So when somebody does something really good, like let's say you're on Facebook and you see somebody had a success, congratulate them. You know, I, I said this in another video, Shane Dawson, I was watching... I was watching Shane Dawson's finale, uh, and it's actually, I think the series is called The Beautiful World of Jeffree Star, but the final episode was The Beautiful World of Shane Dawson. And I'm just sitting there with my, my sister and a friend, and all of a sudden, I popped up in the video. And I was like, wait, go back, go back. Was that me? Whoa. And that was so, oh my God, I got to be a part of that. And let's get real. When Shane Dawson puts you in anything, he's helping you, okay? He's helping you. He's giving you exposure, He's, you know, at least from the, where I stand here, he seems very generous in that way. So this was a big deal that Shane Dawson, one, even found one of my videos, cared to watch it, and then cared to take a clip out of it, <laughs> right? And include it 
in this series that is arguably one of the, it's probably the biggest thing that's going on on YouTube right now. So it was a great honor. And again, Shane Dawson, not that you're seeing this, but thank you, honey. I really appreciate that. And um, I see your generosity. And I really, thank you so much. I love you for that. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. But other people were just like, oh, you know, nobody congratulated me. Nobody, I mean, my viewers did, but like other people just in life, it was sort of like, oh, okay. Well, we don't know about that stuff. We're not in the YouTube community and blah, blah, blah. But it still, for me, was a huge deal. So I'm using that as an example. If you see somebody has a victory, you get on there, you feel it in your heart, and then you let that energy come into that person. If you know somebody's going through a very, very hard time, reach out to them. And don't just go through the motions. Don't just do it because it makes you seem like a good person. You kidding me with this? <laughs> Honestly, that stuff sociopaths do. I'm just saying. Oh, I have a little chip in my mug. Oh, that stinks. Anyway, you know, reach out to them, check in on them, offer help, you know, offer to talk or, you know, whatever. So we need to start doing that instead of telling people, you're doing it all wrong. If you have a reaction, then you're a terrible person. How bad is this face and this hair? Oh my God. So this is, this is real y'all. <laughs> oh, is this my thumbnail? <laughs> I got on camera with no makeup. <laughs> I don't Now I'm afraid to take my hands away because I could get, oh, what happened? Dig on it. Can I just wake up and be gorgeous? Can that happen? <laughs> My glasses are dirty. Whatever. Let's get on with it. Anyway, let's get on to the meditation. If you're impatient and you're like, oh my God, I thought we were going to meditate at the beginning. Okay, maybe you shouldn't tune into a vlog. <laughs> a little discernment here. Okay, vlogs are people talking. Got it? Okay, so we are going to connect with our kingdom. Apparently nobody, because I can't talk. We are going to connect with Archangel Gabriel today. Now I'm not, these, this moment here is not to teach you how to meditate. If you don't already know how to meditate, go check out one of my other videos. Lisa Beachy, she is phenomenal with her meditations. I love her so much. And guys, as an aside, she's one of the few, I haven't spoken to her in a while, but she's one of the few YouTubers who, when I was going through a tough time, she would come forward with like incredibly helpful advice. Like when I was having troubles with getting people to submit their questions for personal readings, she's like, hey, Michelle, you can go in and make this form. And when I couldn't figure out, or I was like, I'm having problems with Vimeo. Vimeo was such a pain to try to get my courses sold. She was the one who came forward and said, hey, Michelle, Gumroad is a good option. And I haven't looked back since. So Lisa, honey, if you're tuning into this, I don't know that you are because YouTubers these days, I do not get mad at fellow YouTubers who do not have time to watch other YouTubers. <laughs> like, I mean, it, it gets rough sometimes. And um, I think, especially with the spiritual community, we don't want to get too influenced by other people's messages. Um, we want to make sure that we're, you know, really purely tuning in and doing our thing. So, Lisa, if you happen to be watching this, I have so much gratitude for you, for your kindness. I think you're super talented, and I hope you just keep on rocking it, babe. <laughs> you're a good soul, and I do adore you. Uh, if you're not watching, it's cool. Like, honey, don't even worry about it. Like, I don't, I was watching the Shane thing, and I do this. Like, and now that's over, and I'm still just doing this now. So, <laughs> I totally get it. Totally get it. So we are going to, so, excuse me. So you can, uh, you know, tune in to like Lisa's channel, Lisa Beachy, like the beach, uh, Lisa Beachy. I'm blanking on what her channel is actually called. Anyway, if you just Google or not Google, um, if you go into YouTube and you put in Lisa Beachy, she'll pop up, I'm sure. But you can look at her channel. Um, you can check out some of my earlier meditations that are a little more heavily guided, but that's not what we're doing here. There'll be a little bit of that, but you know to breathe in and breathe out, you know to do it for a count and breathe out, okay? So, hold on. I thought about connecting with Mother Mary today because uh, that's the card that came up for the daily, I believe. But Gabriel, Gabriel's right here. Gabriel wants to come on in. So let's do this. Let's get comfortable as much as you can, right? I, I will remind everybody it's important to have good posture. You want the energy flowing. If you want to grab a crystal, did I grab any crystals? 
Look at me. Any given place in my apartment has, oh, vlog idea. I'm shedding. Vlog idea, crystal tour. How about that? Comment down below. You want a crystal tour? I'll give you a crystal tour. Okay. So any given place in my apartment, <laughs> I have crystals. Um, this is Celestite. And I cannot remember. This might, yeah, this might have been the piece that came from Lima, Ohio, which uh, that mine is closed now. So, okay. So I'm going to hold this. Everybody get cozy. Make sure you have good posture and go ahead and start your breathing. And then I will... So I'll be quiet while you do that and then we'll invoke Gabriel and then we're just gonna be quiet and just meditate, okay? Here we go. Archangel Gabriel, God's purest love and light, I know you're here already. <laughs> we ask that you come forward and make your presence known for every person who would like to connect with you. Please help our energies to be cleansed. And please help us to be open receptors to whatever messages you have for us. And we understand, Archangel Gabriel, that we as humans, we are not here in meditation to contrive a story when you come forward, but rather to experience the energy you bring. We thank you, Archangel Gabriel, and we love you, and we are here and ready to receive, and so it is. So for each of you, just experience Gabriel as you will. Do not try to make sense of the message in the moment. Just relax into it and experience.
right, so when you're ready, start to come on back into your body. A few more deep breaths. Open your eyes. Let's see if my camera's still going. Oh my gosh, it kept on going throughout that entire thing. I can't believe it. <laughs> so, if you would like, go ahead and comment down below what your experience is. Now, I'm going to share with you what my experience was. Peace. It was just peace. There wasn't a whole lot of visualization coming forward. Uh, I've learned in my meditations to not force anything. Uh, don't force a visualization if it's not naturally coming. Don't try to force yourself to make sense of um, messages that are coming through. I said that, you know, we don't want to try to put a story around it. Um, but yeah, go ahead and comment down below. If you are somebody who thinks, oh, well, I had a better, you know, I have a, I'm more uh, connected to the angels and God and Jesus and all this stuff. And so, you know, my meditation was super intense. And I saw this whole big thing, blah, 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 blah. Be careful because the ego will come in because, we talk about this all the time, guys, because people in the spiritual community want to seem like they're being above other people, they'll try to come forward and describe a much more intense experience than maybe <laughs> what they really would have had if they just relaxed into it, okay? So there's the meditation part of it. And let me put my little guy back here. Where, where did you come from? Okay, there you go. There you go. Celestite's a very, at least the pieces I have, they're incredibly fragile. And if any of you have some opinion about drinking coffee right before and after a meditation. Ew. There we are. I don't even know what to tell you. Don't have an opinion really because it's already cold. <laughs> mm. All right, guys. So I think we can leave it there. I think a crystal tour would be really fun. I will, depending on the feedback from me looking like this, um, I can, you know, film me making breakfast if you care. I mean, we could do that certainly. But uh, we'll leave it there for today, guys. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. And if you do find that you are getting stressed, overwhelmed, uh, you feel like, you know, nothing's getting done. I've had a few days like that. Just take a moment like we just did and sit down, allow yourself to reconnect spiritually because um, some people will call that psychic fatigue, <laughs> right? Or, you know, if you have like a lot of energy vampires that are coming through, if you're a YouTuber yourself, you have energy vampires. It doesn't matter whether you do a spiritual channel or a cooking channel or, you know, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. You have people who are coming in and siphoning off of your energy. So it's good to do a little bit of energetic house cleaning every once in a while and just go off and do something fun. Next up for me, I'm going to go on outside somewhere. I don't know. I got to wash the retinol off my face first. Do not go outside with retinol on your face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you know, and I'll get myself together and go do that. But give yourself that moment to regenerate. All right. As far as other content, I have, uh, this is the time of year where I stock up on uh, things that I'll need for filming. I get a little of that here and there throughout the year. I did not, I was not able to score any more equipment. I just didn't feel like the deals were good enough. Um, but I was able to get some, you know, good deals on things like makeup. I go through makeup like crazy <laughs> because clearly not today, not right now, but you know, uh, there are days when I do the makeup, if you're going to be in front of lights and stuff, you have to do it, you know, I have to put on a little bit more because I feel like I'm a little washed out without it. And when you look at my videos, it looks like I don't have that much on. But if you saw me in person, the, there's like tons of eyeshadow, on. <laughs> like a ton of eyeshadow on and stuff like that. But anyway, I stock up on that. So when those items come, um, I can sit down and show you. I can tell you this is the first time I've ever purchased a Jeffree Star uh, mystery box. Never did in the past because he's known for having like those edgier colors that I just wouldn't wear. It's not my aesthetic. Um, but I did it this year. I was able to get one before they were sold out. They sold out very quickly. 
and I can tell you about that experience when all that stuff arrives, if it arrives before I leave. That's another thing about Jeffree Star Cosmetics. They take forever to process things when things are busy. <laughs> Jeffree's growing and, you know, people are all winding up to get the stuff. So it takes a minute. But anyway, I will let you know when that comes in. Have a beautiful day, guys. And I'm sending you so much love. Take care.